Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to create a contact sheet using Adobe Bridge. First, you'll need to click on the orange BR icon at the bottom of the screen to launch the program. I've already launched mine. Make sure you're in the top tab labeled Essentials. Next, we're going to select the collection of images we want to print. I've selected a series of glamour photos. We're also going to decide which images will be on the contact sheet by holding down the control key on a PC or the command key on a Mac. I'm going to take a moment to select my photos right now. When you're finished, you want to go up and switch over to the output tab to get ready to print. We are going to be printing this in a PDF, so it's important to click on the PDF tab. Now, I like printing in PDFs because if I have a lot of photographs I'm working with, it works out really well because I'm able to save, send, and print lots of large files all at the same time. Now we're going to take a minute to choose the background color and select how many rows and columns we have. If you decide to select the background color other than the one you have, you can pick from yellow, green, blue, black, or white, any of the choices here. I'm going to go with white, but if you do change your color, you want to make sure that you hit the Refresh Preview button to see what it's actually going to look like. To decide how many columns and rows, you want to change these two numbers right here. Columns tells you how many pictures are going across, and rows will let you know how many pictures are going down. You can change this at any time, but we're going to keep it as is. I'm almost ready to print, but before I hit the Save button, I'm going to make sure that the View PDF After Save box is checked. That way, when I go to print the PDF, I can see what it's going to actually look like after it's been saved. Go ahead and click that Save button. You want to also decide where it's going to be saved to. I've selected my desktop. Then you give it a file name. We're going to call it Glamour Shoot PDF number two and click Save. We're going to wait for that PDF to generate and then you can simply minimize your screen and it'll be right here on your desktop. Once you open it, preview your images, make sure everything is the way you'd like it to be, and then we're going to hit the printer icon. Click the OK button, and your images will print. Printing started. Now it's your turn. Good luck.